Hi, I'm Lee Riley, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your system to get signal through Nuendo. Then show you the basics of routing the signal through effects. So let's take a look. For this example, let's start with a completely empty session and build from there. To set up your interface inputs and outputs in Nuendo, you would go to the Studio tab and click on Audio Connections. Now, of course, for this example, I'm connecting my Universal Audio Apollo. Your interface may be different, but the principle still remains the same. The audio connections is basically the same as I.O. setup in Pro Tools, allowing you to configure your routing in, through, and out of your system. Routing of channels in Nuendo, as opposed to paths in Pro Tools. A perfect place to start would be your inputs. It's as simple as clicking on the Add Bus button, a new path in Pro Tools, and assigning your required inputs. Let's keep it simple and configure one microphone input for now, and name it Mic. See how it can show the audio device? But I will have to choose which connected input I want. I'll choose Mic Line 1. I can check this connection quickly as Nuendo automatically creates a corresponding input in the mix window. Next, let's look at the Outputs tab. As we just did with the inputs, let's click on the Add Bus button, create a stereo configuration, and name it Output. We are going to make sure that the audio device is not connected for the moment, and not assign the interface output quite yet. There's a reason for that, which I'll explain in the next tab. The control room is where things can get a little more in depth, as it is how you can configure multiple monitoring, routing, and even input setups. But as I said earlier, let's keep it simple and set up something fairly basic. So now we're going to set up routing to my speakers. Click on the Add Channel button to add a monitor where I can set up my studio speakers. I'll name this speakers and leave them as stereo. Then I'll choose the audio device and route in the appropriate main outputs. But Lee, why are we not setting up a connected output here or in the output tab? I hear you asking. Well, if I go to try and connect the same output destination, I cannot. And here in the outputs tab, Look how it's red, which means it's already being used by the control room. And that is simply all it needs to complete the signal path. We will physically check our signal path a little later in this video. Staying in the control room tab, let's start to create more destinations by adding channels. Some options here are more defined than in Pro Tools, but still work on the same basic principles. If I want to set up a talkback mic, to communicate with the performer, I can choose it here. Note that like our previous output assignment, once a physical input is chosen, it is locked in for that channel. Let's set up one more physical output so that our performer can hear themselves by setting up a cue send. Add channel, add cue, and let's name this one talent. Notice, if we take a quick look at the control room section, everything we assigned earlier in the control room tab shows up here. The output speaker control, the talkback, which has its own on-off switch, and the cue send now shows up with options to enable disable the send. Enable disable the talkback feed, adjust talkback level going to the performer, or even assigning them the entire project mix, or just individual groups of Q-Sends, controlled by the Q-Send master level here. Just as in Pro Tools, you can save or use presets for your interface connections. Where in Pro Tools, these are your export and import settings. In the window, they are simply called presets. Let's click here to save our basic setup. 
and name it Basic Input Setup for Inputs. Basic Output Setup for Outputs. And you guessed it, Basic Control Room Setup here. If I import a preset, it will simply overwrite my current bus setting. Like in Pro Tools, you can save a setting for each tab. Let's try something different here. Based upon what we just learned, let's put it into practice by creating a voice recording with some talent. I'll create a new, empty project and call it VO Recording. Let's create a new mono audio track and set the input to mic and name the track VO. Let's just increase the track height so we can see a little better. Some viewers may have noticed that my shortcut keys were the same as in Pro Tools. Interesting. More on that later, I digress. I'll color the track, very similar to Pro Tools here. Green. You can also set the track color on the track itself, here. Or here in the inspector. While the inspector is open, you can see that the input and output of the track is clearly listed. I'm going to check that my talkback is working. Here we go. Perfect. Then, let's assign a cue send for the talent by going to the mix window. Here I'm going to make sure the cue sends are viewed in the racks. There we go. And enable the talent cue send bus. Okay, I think we're almost ready to record our talent, but let's make sure that we can hear her. I'd like to introduce you to our talent today, and her name is Monique. Say hello, Monique. Hello, Monique. Excellent. So how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Well, that's our pleasure, of course. So do you think you're, uh, you'd like to give this a shot? Let's go. Let's do this. Awesome. So whenever you're ready. So all we have to do to record at this point is to record on the track and press record, just the same as in Pro Tools. Excellent. Another one just like that. Okay. Use your commas there. Gotcha. Yep. So all we have to do to record at this point is to record arm the track and press record. Just the same as in Pro Tools. Awesome. I think we've got it. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, Monique. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Excellent. That was fun. Let's switch gears here and open up a different project. As I mentioned in the previous video, a group channel plays the same role as an AUX track in Pro Tools. Here I have some Foley tracks that I need to control with one master track. I'm going to select these tracks first, then right click, add track group channel to selected channels. I have various configuration options here, but I'll make it stereo. Create outside folder, and I'll name it Foley sub. Now I have fader control of the entire group or I can place an insert on it to affect the entire group. If I needed some reverb on this Foley, I would simply create an effects channel, which also works similar to a Pro Tools AUX track. Add track, choose my reverb, create outside folder, and name it Foley Verb. All I would have to do is send the signal I need to the Foley reverb. I can do it one of two ways. From a track individually, like this. Or as a group, from the group channel, like this. I can activate or deactivate the send, make it pre or post fader, and determine the amount on this slider, here. Pro Tools users are no doubt familiar with track presets. And in Nuendo, track presets are a very powerful 
and time-saving way to recall your favorite plugin templates instantly. If I wanted to save my Foley Reverb track to reuse in the future project, all I would have to do is right-click, Save Track Preset, and enter a name and press OK. Loading or recalling a preset is just as simple to do, but can be done either in the inspector, here, or here, showing you a huge amount of presets to use. Nice search engine too. I'm Lee Riley, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to check out the next one.